everyone, so today I'm going to be filming my skincare routine and I've set myself a challenge to do this all in one video because I don't actually like splitting it into two. So we'll see how this goes, um, but I've recently changed up my skincare routine quite a lot. My skin has gone from kind of normal, oily, that kind of thing to very, very, very dry. Um, I get very dry patches along my forehead and on my neck. Some of them are eczema patches as well, so I get that on my eyes and my neck. Um, so yeah, I've had to kind of really ramp up the hydrating products and lots of balms and things like that just to kind of keep everything nice and not flaky and disgusting. <laughs> so there's been quite a few changes and I'm just going to get started with my morning routine. So the first thing I do when I do my skincare routine, morning and evening, is I use the Aven uh, Thermal Spring Water, which basically is water in a can. <laughs> it sounds so bizarre, but I'm quite lazy and... I find that this is really nice for not getting water all over my face like I would if I kind of used my hands. I could use a flannel but our water comes out, this is the thing, our water comes out incredibly cold um, when I first turn our taps on. Even if I turn the hot tap on it takes ages to warm up. So I use this and this kind of doesn't, for some reason, even though it's in a can, it doesn't go as cold as our taps do. So I use this just so it's less of a shock to the face because I don't really like that. Um, and it just kind of stops me from getting all my hair wet and everything. And then I go in with my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, which is one of my favourite cleansers ever. I just love it. It's kind of meant to be like a pre-cleanse for when you take off your makeup in the evening. But because I don't have any makeup on in the morning, I actually really like to use it then. And because it's a balm, it's just really nourishing. It's not stripping at all, which is just amazing for my skin. And I massage that in all over my face and then just take it off with... Um, one of my white flannels. I think I got these from Primark, I think. And by the time that I've massaged the product into my face, um, all of the water has kind of warmed up a little bit. So I can use my flannels to take it off. And I just like doing that rather than using water because it's less messy. You don't get water everywhere. And our sink is actually in our bedroom. So um, it's kind of, I kind of really don't want to get water everywhere because we've got carpet, not like tile flooring or anything like that in here. And I just find it gives like a nicer exfoliation in comparison to like using your hands or something like that. So I like using these and they're cheap as chips. So, so after I've cleansed, I then go in with my toner of choice, which is the Omra Vitska Queen of Hungry Mist. I actually said it all in one go for once. So I really struggle to say the, the name of this product, but I love this. I had the um, smaller bottle originally, now I've got the full size and I just literally love it. It smells so good. It's kind of like my more wintry version of the Cordley Beauty Elixir. It's just beautiful and um, kind of pricey, but I just absolutely love it. And once I'm done with toner, I then put on my eye cream and I kind of put on my eye cream before serums just because serums can kind of block um, your eye cream getting through to your eyes. Read that somewhere, just kind of follow that. But in the mornings I've been using the Pi Eachum and Argan Gentle Eye Cream. Did I say that right? I have no idea. I really, really like this though. It's very kind of lightweight, so I like using it in the morning just because using a really thick eye cream before I put on my makeup, I use the Origins Transcription Concealer. Um, and if I put on a very thick eye cream before I use that, it can kind of slip and slide a little bit. But this one's light enough to stop that happening, which I really like. And it's just lovely. It's high products are really natural and just beautiful. Just love it. The only thing I don't like is that the pump is kind of difficult to control. Like you have to really kind of just tap it the tiniest bit and it's quite hard to actually do that. Um, so sometimes you do end up getting a lot more than you need because a little really does go a long way. And then I go in with my serum and I love Hydroluron. This is my second or third tube of this and I can actually feel that it's like a lot emptier than it was a few weeks ago. I'm like, no, I've got to buy another one. These are great. They're always on offer in boots for like a third off, which makes them really affordable. I don't think I've ever paid full price for one because I just get them when they're on offer. So I just pop kind of a pea-sized amount on my fingers and massage that into my face. There's a lot of massaging that goes on in the morning. I just like rubbing my face generally. It feels quite nice. And then after I'm done with that, I go in with the Pi Chamomile and Rose Hip Calming Day Cream. Just because I quite like to switch up um, my moisturiser from morning to evening. I really like this one. It's so, it leaves your skin feeling so plump and just really hydrated but it sinks in and it doesn't leave like a residue on the surface. It doesn't leave your skin feeling tacky at all. It just makes your skin feel amazing. I love this so much. And it just is really good for kind of calming any redness, which I really like as well, because my skin has been super red recently. 
and it's just beautiful, I love Pi products, can you tell? And it might seem a little excessive, but after that I use another moisturiser, and this is the Psychoplast Balm B5 by Roche Posay. I never know if I'm saying it right, but no one has corrected me yet, so... And I basically just use this um, on the drier parts of my face, so kind of along my forehead, and mainly around my neck area, all around here, um, just because that's where my skin gets the dry. And finally I just pop on a little bit of the Nukes Rev de Miel lip balm, which is my favourite lip balm. I don't actually use anything else. It's so good. I actually am kind of allergic to certain lip products, so this really helps if I've been wearing like pigmented lipstick quite a lot. and um, It really helps to calm everything down because I get a slight weird reaction on my lips bizarre but yeah I love 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 it. So that is it for my morning skincare routine I'm gonna pop in a little clip now of it in action and um, so I hope you like that and then we will continue with my evening skincare routine <laughs> to my evening skincare routine I start off with the Bioderma as does every other person on YouTube it seems um, I love this I don't find that anything else takes my makeup off as well as this I'm almost out of this one but I've got a backup luckily after that I'm gonna need a trip to France though because you know so I just pop this on a cotton pad and just sweep that all over my face I take my base makeup off first then my eyebrows which sounds really weird that I would do those separately, but you know. I do my <laughs> eye makeup um, just because I don't like the thought of like all the black from my mascara being spread all over my face, so I just do it in that order. And then I continue with the same way I start off in the morning, so I use the Aven Thermal Spring Water just because I'm lazy and because I don't like really cold water. And then my cleanser in the evening is the Ren Hydro Calm Cleansing Milk, which has changed now to the Ever Calm Cleansing Milk. Same kind of packaging, just a different name, not sure why they changed the name, but um, I used to never like this, I think I actually wrote a post a very long time ago about how I didn't like it, and then I picked it up a little while back and just kind of fell back in love with it. So my skin has turned incredibly dry, I haven't found anything makes my skin as kind of calm and not dry as this. This is just the best cleanser if you've got dry skin, in my opinion. And then same as in the morning, I take it off with a muslin cloth or flannel. And then again, same as in the morning, I use the Omra Kvitska Queen of Hungry Mist. Sometimes I use the Lizelle, um, I can't remember what it's called. The Lizelle toner. I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. Sometimes I use that if my skin feels like it needs something that's a bit more soothing, but for the most part I just spritz this over my face, give it a good flap, and then move on to my serum. I either use a serum or an oil, and you know if it's a serum it's going to be hydroluron. But for oils, I love the Balance Me Radiance Facial Oil. It's one of my all-time favourites, but recently I've been reaching for the Pi Rosehip Bioregenerate Oil. Long name. Wow. I just smooth about three drops of this on and then I'm done. It just is so lovely and I just find that spots and kind of just nasties on your face heal a lot quicker when you use an oil. So if my skin's got a lot of scarring or a lot of spots or is just generally lacking in the luster department then I go in with an oil and this has been my favourite recently. And I forgot to mention eye cream which I would use before the oil. Um, I use the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment in the evening. I've done a review on my blog so I'll link this up below and the same for any other products that I have reviewed. I love this eye treatment. It's just beautiful. It's so thick and creamy and just so hydrating. I love using it in the evening because obviously then it gives you time, it gives it time to kind of sink in. It's just lovely. And then we get to moisturiser and I have been loving using the Kills Skin Rescuer at night. I just find that it really soothes any redness. It helps blemishes to kind of calm down and just heal a bit quicker. Basically every problem I have with my face I find that this helps so I love that. That is my evening skincare routine. As with before I'm going to pop in a little clip to end this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you like the format of this because I kind of thought it might work better than me breaking it up 
constantly, I don't know, let me know. Um, and let me know if you have any recommendations for future videos, because I'm kind of plotting March's videos now. Um, I think my next video could end up being a haul again. <laughs> um, so let me know, give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up anyway. Um, and make sure that you are subscribed and yeah, all of that stuff. I'm kind of losing my words and my voice, so I'm going to go now. But I hope you guys like this and I will see you guys soon.